what do we do with this material? We're, we're a society of packaging and we have so much of this material and we often will throw it away or take it to, uh, or t or take it to the recycler that then, you know, what do they do? They, sometimes they recycle it and turn it into more cardboard. And so this homeowner here saw this problem as an opportunity where he bought some glass bowls they actually had a round circular shape, which is exactly what's being mimicked in the garden. So we, we can take that and come right around here and you can see just there's a natural curve right there, it's being able to press it up against this garlic and there's the grass. You can see right here where, the, where it wasn't growing, the grass is taking root, right? But underneath, there's no, there's no grass coming in. So we're really talking about the carbon. We're talking about a material that's gonna take a while to break down. Right, that's going to take a while and it's going to smother out and cover, um, smother out any weeds and cover the soil to allow for that moisture retention and, and weed suppression. You know, so you got this cardboard and you can just bury it in your garden. The glues, people are worried about the glues being toxic. Most of the glues are, are vegetable based at this point. The, the inks are soy based inks. And so by taking this problem and recycling it into our ground, into our garden, we're actually helping build up the carbon sources in our soils, which every time we turn the soil, every time we move it, we're releasing that carbon into the atmosphere. We need to start putting it back into the ground. One way to do it. <laughs>